So he spent all his primary education in a mainstream yeah, school. Yeah. yeah. Did he have a, 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 a yeah, classroom he, assistant? He had or... a one-on-one -on -one teacher all day because um, he statemented for a certain amount of hours a week. So he he had that, and it worked well up until secondary school because obviously things yeah. it's completely different then. And how quickly once he'd got to his secondary school, which was a state school, yeah, was he struggling straight away, or did the school highlight it, or did you? Well, realize? the thing is, Tino doesn't show when he's struggling. He's so he copes really, really well, so he doesn't necessarily tell you if anything's mm. difficult. But thankfully, the school told me. Um, it was three quarters of the way into the first year at secondary school. They called us in and That's said... That's quite a long time you'd been I know coping. He'd been coping, I know, mm. it's not great. And they just mm. said, you know, we just don't have... It's not the right environment for him, although they'd said it was when we first went there. And obviously, he gets funding, mm. they have the funding, mm. and then all of a sudden, it mm. seems... Mm. it's not going in the right areas. Mm. So we had to find a new school. And I'm, the only thing I did do is I was glad I knew. Yeah. And me and my ex-husband could actually just go off then and go and find the right school. But that was a struggle as well, because there aren't many schools that have a provision for children mm. that are mm. straddling both worlds, mm. as Tino does. So that was a bit of an eye-opener, because I, I saw some horrible people things. People might be thinking, well, what about a specialist school, yeah. if that's the right term? Oh, yeah. I mean, the t terminology, it's like hot potato, yes, and I'm probably going to mess up during oh, this yeah, interview. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just would one of those rather, things. Would you he went to a school with just children like him? Do you think it would be better uh, Well, him? I explored all avenues. Yeah. And we went to um, schools for autistic children, and they're fantastic. But I also, because he's considered high function, I wanted him to be with children that he could learn something from. To push him a little bit. Yeah, because yeah. I think you need to push them a little bit, because they're naturally stuck in their behaviour. Yeah. But you can cajole them out of a little bit of that. I have done from the get-go with Tino. I mean, he wasn't talking at first, and now I can't stop him from talking. So that's been by gentle pushing at the right times in the right places. So, but it, we found a school now. And it has a provision for autistic mm. kids. It's absolutely amazing. We've totally. When you say provision, is this? Do you think that most teachers then should know how to deal with autistic children, or should they always have a key worker that's trained? Well, what is it you ideally would like? Well, to the see? provisions usually it's at the side of the school, so you can have uh, lessons with other autistic children, mm. and then when they're feeling good and confident, they sort of integrate them into the mainstream and slowly, slowly build that up until they mm. might have the muscle to deal with it full time. Mm. And that's that's the hope. That's mm. what we all want. Yeah. But it's just a massive struggle for everybody because I don't think it's understood. Even simple things like break time for most children is a good time to get rid of some energy and regroup, ready to go back into class. But for an autistic mm. child, it's complete sensory overload. Yes. And yeah. even things like that need to be understood. And it's difficult for us mothers who are living with it every day trying to understand it, let alone people that have never experienced that, it in reality. Is that what Valentino struggles most with so academically he, he copes but it's the social well, side of school he can't it, access his education because he's overloaded with all the sensory stuff in mainstream that's why he's we're in this at school that's got provision which will slowly slowly integrate him but i'm messaged all the time by mums i've got um people on social media that contact me all the time that can't find a school or i have a friend at the moment whose two-year-old son is in a school and he's not coping and she's struggling to even get a meeting with the headmaster about it it's just it needs to be sorted. But you are, sorry, you are, you know, a, an amazing mum. Thank you. And you are a go-getter yeah. and, you know, you've done a lot of it on your own. Yeah, I have. Um, and that is something that you should be really proud of, obviously. And the, and the fight never stops. I know because my brother um, has had special needs, uh, a sort of type of autism. Yeah. And he's been at college and you have to never stop kind of tweaking things yeah. and, and keeping up with what they're doing. And it's hard when you don't always Read the symptoms. So, how do you cope? How do you get through it all? Well, I mean, Tino's father is very much involved with Valentino, so we're really close. So That's we do, lovely. We, yeah, no, it's amazing. We just get on with it. We're parents at the end of the day. We might not be man and wife anymore, but we're both still parents, and he's amazing also. So I've got the support from him. Um, I just never 
take no for an answer <laughs> when I'm <laughs> fighting yeah, yeah. for him. Yeah. Yeah. So um, would you say that to mothers mm. watching? Who've yeah. Got children like you, mm. that, yeah. that you're in a club, really, that you should all work together? Well, it certainly feels mm. like that. And at the moment, I seem mm. to be the only mouthpiece for it. And I'm happy to do that because so many people are struggling on a yes. daily basis yeah. and haven't got a voice. And that's why I've come on today to say things do need mm. to change. There needs to be more awareness about what children on this spectrum need because mm. it is so vast. But there are mm. some key areas that are very similar in all of the mm. children. Mm. And I just feel mm. that, you know, I think, Tino, if you're, if, you, if, if you're statemented, you do get money, the school get money, and I think that money does get spent on other things mm. and they can forget what they got the money yeah, for in, the first, place, in yeah. the first place. Well, listen, as you say, it's about highlighting it. It's about yeah. talking about it. As you said, you've got the, the platform yeah. for, for other uh, people who are watching. Um, how are you doing in generally I'm, in your life? You yeah, good? I'm really good. I'm, obviously, I'm relieved that Tino is now in a school. He's only been there a week and a half and he seems to be absolutely fine. So once that was sorted, you then obviously I can, I can breathe a little breathe bit. More. Yeah. Oh, well, listen, it's good to see you now. Melanie Love to see you. Thank you. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really.